watching CBS4 News. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Yadiris Nova Salcedo. If you're a fan of Latin food and Latin cooking, you'll love today's edition of Centro. We're going to show you some of the traditional Latin dishes for the holidays. We'll also tell you how to make the, uh, these dishes and also other great dishes. To help us do this, with us this morning is Jose Duarte, executive chef and owner of Taranta Restaurant located in the North End. Good morning, Jose. Thank you so much for coming to our show. Thank you very much. Jose, today, Christmas Eve, a very, very special day for us, the Latino community. What can you tell us? Well, definitely. Um, it's a time for gathering. We, uh, uh, when I was little, I remember every 23rd and 24 was a time to get together in family and prepare to start food, cooking. To start cooking. <laughs> Some of the things you have already made, but uh, it is a real. Uh, uh, family gathering, uh, social uh, all the uh, family the nephew, members come, the nieces, everybody. the grandchildren come together, exactly. and this is when we start making a huge feast. Absolutely. And you brought yes. some great dishes yes, with you this morning. Yes. Why don't you start telling us about them? Well, first of all, we have the uh, tamales, which are the uh, uh, one of the uh, most common throughout Latin America. Definitely. Um, there is. Uh, the Mexican style tamales that they make it, every family makes it in different way. These particular ones are made with uh, chili and chicken. Uh, then we have the Salvadorian tamales with some duck. And then we have the uh, ayacas, they are from Venezuela. Okay, those are the are yeah. The, uh, <clears throat> the ones that actually you supposed to make and trade with other families as a gesture uh, for the holidays. Okay. So basically, it, and also in the, during prepara the preparation of the ayacas, uh, all all, the whole family contributes, you know, the father, the mother, you know, one makes this stuff, exactly. etc. Good, um, so it's a great way to get together. It, yes. Pork shoulder is the next yes, thing you brought us. Yes, that's also the pork shoulder pernil or okay. lechon. We are actually uh, uh, throughout uh, Latin America, Central America, and the Caribbean as well, South America, we, we tend to eat uh, <clears throat> Pernil. This for the holiday, the pernil. Exactly. This one I made in a special way. I put some uh, uh, glaze of rocoto and honey. Rocoto is a Peruvian pepper okay. that is a little spicy, so has that little uh, extra Latin kick in there uh, for, the, for the shoulder. And since you mentioned actually Peruvian, I want to uh, highlight that in your restaurant, Taranta, right. it's a Peruvian-Italian Peruvian restaurant. Peruvian-Italian restaurant, yes. We, uh, we are sort of a marriage. My wife is Italian, I'm Peruvian, so I had no choice. It's a great mixture. Exactly. <laughs> So we use Peruvian ingredients. And again, you're in the north end, so if Correct. people want to go. The turkey? The turkey is uh, also, we eat turkey for uh, for Christmas, and pavo relleno is called, we, we stuff it. This particular one okay. is stuffed with uh, some rice, walnuts, and some botija. This looks Peruvian. great. And then also just... The, the uh, pan de jamón, which is a Venezuelan uh, bread stuffed with ham and olives, and the panettone, which is our fruitcake. Uh, These are great, Jose. And of course, we're going to give them the recipes for this if yes. they go to your website, yes. and also for other great dishes. I want to thank yes. you so much. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Pleasure. Okay. Yes, yeah. Now, for more information on Taranto Restaurant and the different dishes they offer, you can call them at 617-720-0052 or for a link to their website, you can visit us online at cbs4boston.com slash centro. Thank you so much for being with us today, everybody. Have a great weekend and a merry, merry Christmas. See you next time.